What's happening everyone? Namaste. Can you believe it? Two videos in a day from me. Um, since I'm feeling better, I feel like I have some catch up to do on what I've been up to. Uh, this video will be pretty short still. And it's about daily quests to make your life better. So I found a video from Jordan Peterson. I'll put it in the description of this video, but it basically talked about where do you start when, if your life's fallen apart and things have kind of just blown up in your face, what can you do to start making your life better? And, and it was daily quests starting with where you live in your own environment. So, so I made a spreadsheet because I love spreadsheets and I have dozens of them. And my first quest was to make my bed. So I have a made bed here. It's kind of dark, you may not be able to see it. There's a made bed here. So every morning I'm now making my bed. That's not something I used to do. Then my next quest was to clean, clean up my computer desk. And so I did that. And so you can kind of see, uh, I cleaned up computer desk. Used to be way more messy. And I have uh, some water bottles and stuff that won't be there after tonight, but. So then I did that. And then the next day's quest was to clean my room and get, get rid of anything not needed. Then I cleaned my front room in my hallway and got rid of anything not needed. Then I cleaned my kitchen and got rid of anything not needed and all the drawers and counters. Then I did the same for my pantry and my bathroom and my closet. And I'll do a, I'll do a tour, some other video. And now I'm working on repairing things like holes in my walls and other things. And uh, the, the way to start is to perfect your environment, to maximize the environment you live in, make it way better. And by doing so, it'll put you in a mode of, of seeking to improve things and make them better. And so that was, that was one piece of advice that was really pertinent to me. And the other was having an attitude of gratitude to be thankful for what I do have, which is quite a lot. And wallowing in my own self-pity doesn't really serve anyone. It doesn't serve me, it doesn't serve any of you, it doesn't serve the general good energy of the universe. So, so that, so I'm, I'm, I'm focusing 24 seven on an attitude of gratitude. So grateful for past experiences and, and joyful experiences and wonderful memories I have. And I, and I hold those, those dear to my heart. And I think that's the right way to treat the past is to be grateful for the things that have happened and the and to, to alchemize all situations for good. So that's, that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm gonna show you an example of this, this daily quests on my computer. And one of them was cleaning out my closet. So let's see if I can get a good picture here. This was my closet before. Complete mess, like unacceptably messy. <laughs> I still love myself you know, with the mess. But um, let's, look at the, let's look at the after picture. So there's the after picture. Um, the, the whole entire left side of my closet is now cleaned out and completely open. And all, all my stuff that I kept is on the right side. And so I, I probably, whoa, sorry, there we go getting kind of dark, so let me pause and open up some blinds. There we go, back into the light. That took a while, that took like four hours to clean up my closet and get everything organized. I, I have a I have several garbage bags full of clothes that I'm donating and other things. And my daughters did the same thing, so we have about six garbage bags, hefty garbage bags full of stuff we're gonna donate to Goodwill. And I'm not done, there's still more to go through and get rid of, just clothing and old papers and stuff. So much junk that I've accumulated that I just, it's like I'm just getting rid of these clothes I'm not gonna wear and, and I kind of took various clothes and if I had 
shirts that were the same, I said, all right, I'm going to pick one of these shirts and the rest are getting donated. And so that's kind of was my process there. The most powerful thing I think that can be done right now is to focus inwardly on my own growth and self-love, to have an attitude of gratitude, to do daily quests to improve my condo. And once I get my condo completely leveled up, to now do quests outwardly beyond my condo. And I have no idea what those are gonna be, but I'm dedicated to doing at least one quest a week for the rest of my life to improve something in my body, in a situation I see, a business opportunity, whatever it is, I, I have no idea where this is gonna go, but I saw someone on YouTube who has been doing this for a few years, he's 50 now, and after three years of weekly quests, his life has changed radically. So many blessings and opportunities and things have opened up to him by doing this. So I'm gonna be doing it and I'll give updates as I experience things with it. It's gonna be a journey of discovery for sure. But there's, there's a big lesson for me and that is that I fell off, I fell off my power and who I was and I seemed to, seem to do that in every relationship I've gotten into. And I don't know why that happens. It, it's something for me to look inwardly and try to figure out and to find a way to be strong, to be strong enough in a relationship with someone where I, where I grow in strength instead of shrinking. <laughs> I think that's the, big, the biggest lesson for me. And this is all on me. This is, this is all on me to figure out and, and it, it happening is on me. And so just big learnings, big learnings and continuing to do yoga and, and weightlifting and martial arts and running and perfecting my body, my physical form and my mental state of being, mental emotional state of being, the yoga is helping with that a lot. And uh, doing other things like martial arts, self-defense, learning to shoot firearms. These are all things that I think are good for any man to know. It's a huge time commitment. It's like three, sometimes four hours a day to do all this. And so I have this alone time right now and this divine rocket fuel, and I'm gonna utilize it to grow, to be the next most powerful version of myself and to really give life my whole heart, might, mind, and strength, body and soul, and every ounce of effort I have in the perfection of my body, my mind, my spirit, and to see what that leads to when I do that. That is my purpose in my life. I can feel it. It, it resonates with me so much that the purpose of my life is to to perfect myself and others and to start with myself and to focus on this self-love and seeing myself as a divine powerful being instead of someone who's just making mistakes and failing all the time and this is deep inner work it's many many hours each day of meditation listening to good music and sounds and and reprogramming my brain from so much trauma in my past. I have so much trauma <clears throat> and that's work. It takes work to fix that. So I'm grateful for all of you. Daily quests to improve your life. This is something I'm, I am converted to for the rest of my life and will continue to do so. I am grateful for all of you. Thank you for those of you commenting on my last video, Michael Nelson, Deborah Dingle Mouse, and let's see who else there was, and Wild Arrow Healing Oracle and Nick Angel 88 Margo. Yeah, Margo, thank you for your comments. Y'all are appreciated. I am continuing on this path of growth. It's an up and down path. And uh I've got a long journey ahead, but I'm embracing it and hope to be come out on the other side much better and stronger. Namaste, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.